I think some of these guys, you know, come out of school and and they're swimming. A, there's a couple of different phases of, of their swimming here. One of them's in the spring when they're first initiated into it. Uh, the second is when the mini camps and OTAs start, when the speed picks up a little bit. And the third, they start swimming again, uh, you know, when the pads go on. Uh, things start going a little faster. So it's a process for those guys. It's a, I mean, that's why you have training camp is to get some of those things worked out. But I've been very pleased with Mac in the last three days. But we need to keep stringing days together, everybody. Um, needs to just string days together. And you do that, that by just walking on the field and making the best of that day and that rep and so on. I know we are, we've asked a lot about right guard in general, but Austin Corbett, there are a lot of high expectations for him coming in. What does he need, he need to do better to establish himself and give us a chance to see that job? Well, I think it's an ongoing uh, solution with all offensive linemen. They need to make sure they get their feet in the ground, good hand placement and good hat uh, level, pad level. And, um, you know, he's no different. He's Everybody else is working on the same things he's working on. Do you see him get discouraged at all just because I think people expected him to be the guy and he hasn't been the guy? Well, again, if you start listening to outside noise, that's what happens. So that's what I've been urging him not to do. Uh, so if he's getting discouraged with what you guys are saying, then he's wrong. He needs to be worrying about what he's doing. What do you guys like about Kush to be to kind of give him this chance to, to be out there and get some consistency and see what he does with it? Yeah, I mean, we, we like Kush. That's why he's here. Um, but, again, he needs to string together days, just like you guys said yesterday. They need to string together days of good good days, consistent days. I don't mind being uh, not being the best at anything. I just want to know what we're getting when you go out on the field. Does he get that shot because he's got the most experience in the league, or has he done something in the camp to earn it? Yeah, we don't, yeah I, don't, I don't know that he gets the shot because he has experience in the league, we judge off what we've seen. Um, and that's where it starts, you know? And that's a fluid situation. This portion of More Sports in Les Levine brought to you by Northeast Factory Direct with three locations, West 140th Street in Cleveland, the old B&B Appliance on Lakeland Boulevard in East Lake and Freeway Drive in Macedonia. Check them out at northeastfactory.com. Jeff Shudell is with us. That was um, Freddie Kitchens talking uh, about the, uh, the depth chart. And you were saying during the break that it's not necessarily the real depth chart, which it does have to be for the real games. Right, right. And um, so on the depth chart that they gave us, and um, I think the media relations department, does, well, I know the media relations department puts it together, and they had um, Austin Corbett at, at right guard. And he could start there tomorrow, but it would be a real surprise because uh, Kush has been starting the... Um, his, uh, his, the screw, and he started at uh, right guard the scrimmage less. And, and then on the next practice, which was f uh, Monday, he was back there. It was the right. first time that the same guy had been there, uh, and, and starting with the right guard since camp so began. Was, so, so you got three guys there uh, kind of going after each other for the job. Would, would, it be, would, you ra would you probably say that somebody will be picked up on waivers and that, three, that number three will change? I think that's a real possibility that they'll pick up a guard on on waivers because, okay. um, and that now though there's not there's not that early cut that there used to be. This will all happen on um, the Saturday before the season begins, right. and that I think will be um, August thirty first, and um, whenever that Saturday is now now see in the in the past the the booby prize for going zero and sixteen. Is you get the first pick right. every time a guy gets cut. Right. Um, oh, you mean from the waiver wire? From the waiver wire, uh -huh. right. But now when you're seven, eight, and one, you have to let other teams well, have. You know, I, so I you think I'd rather have it. I believe I'd rather have it that way. Right. Right. Exactly. Well, yeah. yeah. But take um, it the one year and run as fast as you can right. from that. So um, they're not going to necessarily get the best guard that that might get cut. All right, so who's the front runner to start at right guard right now? If they were opening the season tomorrow, a regular season instead of exhibition season, who, who do you think would be well, there? Well, I mean, they, I think they like Cush a lot. Now, now um, Austin Corbett was drafted by uh, John Dorsey with a 30 pick, 33rd overall pick last year. Right. But if he isn't the best, then... You, you can't hang on to it and just say, well, right. he I was the number one pick or the number two pick. If he's not the right guy, he's not the right, right. guy. And, and uh, 
I think John Dorsey has done a great job, but nobody is infallible. So, um... Well, here's the resume of Corbett, uh, his career. Entering his second season, 23 years old, played in 11 games, one start last year. Did start 49 games in the left tackle. That was for Nevada. So I'm not sure where that gives you a resume for starting right guard.